Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, this is Pratik Srivastava here and today in our video we are going to do one of the very important topic for TCS NQT and this is also ignored by many of you. So a important and a easy topic is data interpretation. So you will be definitely finding question in all of your exam nowadays, not only in TCS. So even if you're writing in forces, or any other examination, Accenture, any other examination, you'll be finding questions from data interpretation. Many of you might not be aware how exactly we should approach the questions of data interpretation because you will have the limited time in the exam. So I will tell you how basically we have to approach to the questions. Before that, friends, TCS NQT crash course, the price was 499. And only for today, the price has been decreased to 299. Okay. So your exam date has been also announced. So if you have not still bought, you can buy it. And the important thing here is you will be also able to access the video on desktop on PC. Okay. So now you can watch the video on desktop. Okay. And friends, if you have not joined our telegram group eight, please do join because there are a lot of conversations are there which you are missing it. So the group is open and there are a lot of conversation happening. So please do not miss all those things. Okay, because these are the important part now. So let me start with the question number one. So what is the average number of females from all the organization together? So friends, data interpretation is not a very different topic. See, if you know percentage, if you know ratio, if you know average, that's all is your data interpretation. So data interpretation will be using this kind of topic. So basically we are going to interpret the data. So what is the average number of female from all the organization together? Male is in blue color and female is in orange. It might be also in red color because female always danger, right? Okay. So what is average? So that is uh, just kidding. So do not take it seriously. So average number of females from all the organization together. Okay. Now, so it's in orange color. So 2,500 friends in exam, you do not waste time. Okay. Do not waste much time. 2,500. And then here, if you'll see 3,000 and then here, if you'll see 3,500 and then here, if you'll see 2,500 and then here, if you'll see 2,500, right? Okay. Now, so average will be sum divided by number. So I added everything. So, and then I will divide it by five. So if I'll add everything, so what will come, we will see here. So zero, then again, zero and five plus five, 10 and 10 plus 10, 20, two will be in hand. Four plus three, seven, seven plus three will be 10 and 10 plus four will be 14. Now, if we'll try to divide five, two is a five, eight, so 2,800. That means option C will be the correct answer. Friends, in our today's data interpretation, I have taken a simple problem because I wanted you to understand first what is data interpretation? How do we actually solve the problems? And then at the end of the session, uh, I have also taken on difficult problem. So if you want me to continue with the difficult problems and data interpretation, please let me know. Okay. Now, friends, this particular problem, if you have to solve an exam within the time, then how, how you are going to do. So average of females. Okay. See, uh, so one, two, three. So 2,500 into three will be 7,500. 7,500 plus 500 will be eight. Eight plus three will be 11 and 11 plus three will be 14. Okay. 14,000 and total five. So it will be nothing but 2,800. See, it's up to you when you are practicing, you take time, but when you are doing in the exam, you do not have to do like that. Right? So here you can see 25 and plus 30, 55, 55 plus 30 will be 90, 90 plus 25 will be uh, 115 and 115 plus 25 will be 140, right? So like this, you can directly add and divide by five. It's simple question. Then question number two. So if you know average, if you know ratio, and if you know percentage, then you will be easily able to solve the questions of data interpretation. Maybe some calculative problem also I will take in the next session and I will also tell you how to use calculator efficiently. Okay. But before that, understanding the question and then doing it is very, very important. The total number of male from organization PQ together is approximately what percentage of the total number of female 
from organization P, Q, and R together. Now, so writing the equation is only important here. Otherwise, this problem is very, very easy. So they wanted, see, the total number of males from organization P and Q together is approximately what percentage of total number of females from organization. See, male is getting compared with female. So whomever you are comparing, that you put it down. So female from P, Q, R, okay? Female from P, Q, R, and male from P and Q. They're asking the percentage, so multiply by 100, okay? I will tell you one important thing here. If you, if you keep that in mind, then nowhere you will get stuck in this kind of problem. Friends, whenever the comparison happens, okay? See, if I will compare myself, if I will compare myself with others, what I will say? I will say I am the worst teacher available on internet, available on YouTube. I will not say like this, right? See, whenever I will teach, I will say, see, my name is Pratik Srivastava. I am the best teacher and you cannot find a teacher like me, right? So even you yourself, okay? So whenever you will talk about yourself, you will tell only the positive things about you and then other people, you will keep it down. Human nature, right? So human nature. So whenever some comparison is there, put that down. So I will always keep myself up and whomever I am comparing, I will put down. So here, male and female. So male is getting compared with female. So definitely female, we will keep it down and male, we will keep it up. That's all. So you keep this in mind, things will become simpler. Male in P and Q. So P is here 3000 and Q is here 4000. So 3000 plus 4000. Okay. That is nothing but 7000 divided by female in P. So 2500 plus 3000 means 5500 and plus 3500 means 900. Uh, sorry, 9,000. So 2,500 plus 3,000 plus 3,500 and then multiply by 100. So 7,000 divided by 9,000 into 100. 2,0,1,2,0 cancel, 1,0,1,0 cancel. 9,7 will be what? 63. So any answer starting with 77 will be your correct answer, right? See, because 9 into 90 will be what? 9 into 80 will be what? So 9 into 80 will be 720. So here 700 by 9, that means it will be 78%. Now for this also, you will not believe many students will start calculator. Okay, so they will use calculator. I'm telling you, so they will completely leave their mind aside and then they will use the calculator. See, uh, I'm sorry, where is the calculator? Yeah, calculator is here. So for that also, they will be using calculator and which in turn will be killing your time. See, you know, 9 into 80 will be, uh, sorry, 9 into 80 will be uh, 720, so 700 by 9 will be near to that, okay? So for that, using the calculator is not recommended, okay? These are the simple problems. I am only telling. I have not taken the difficult problem because you first understand what is data interpretation and then we will solve the difficult problem. If your root is strong, no, then the branches and all everything will be very good. If your root is not strong, then you cannot solve anything, okay? So what is the difference between the total number of females and total number of males from the organization PQRS? So basically they wanted the difference, okay? Now, so here if you'll see female and male, okay? So male and female difference is nothing but 50, uh, sorry, uh, 500 basically. So 3,000 to uh, 2,000, so basically 2,500. So one strip is nothing but 500, okay? Here the difference is what? Two, that means 1,000. Here the difference is what? Minus 500, okay? Now, here the difference is zero. So this 500 and this 500 is canceled. So the difference is nothing but 1000, okay? Option E will be the correct answer. But if you are not very comfortable, so first add male. So male is 3000 and then 4000, 7000 plus 3000, 7 plus 3, 10 and 10 plus 2500, okay? Then uh, you have to subtract female. So 2500, okay? plus 3000 plus 3500 and plus 2500 okay now so you can see this and this anyway will get cancelled and this and this anyway it will get cancelled okay so 7000 and minus 6000 so the difference will be nothing but 1000 see you have to make the problem easier friends nobody else will help you either here or in the examination when you do it by yourself you start thinking okay how can i minimize the calculation how can i do it within the stipulated time because you know tcs nqt now for every problem 
there is a limited amount of time in that only you need to do so definitely we need to think most of the basic calculation you have to do it in the mind okay only the toughest calculation the more difficult problem you do it using calculator okay now so the again so this i have not read only the given bar graph shows the number of male and female in five different organization okay now what is the ratio of number of female from organization q so in q so what is the female female is nothing but 3000 okay now to the number of uh, females from the organization T. So organization T. So what is the number of uh, female? 2,500. So 5, 6 and 5, 5. Zha. 6 is to 5. I am telling you friends, the problems are simple. Try to understand in this video. You need average. You need percentage. You need ratio. That's all. Other than that, it's very, very easy. Okay. Now, the number of males from organization Q. So the number of males from organization Q, so in organization Q, the number of males is nothing but 4,000, okay? Is approximately what percentage of the total number of males from all the organization together? Now, so you have to understand here. So the number of males from organization Q is getting compared with total number of males from all the organization together. So number of males in Q is getting compared with all the organization male. That means P plus Q plus R plus S plus T. They're asking you to calculate what percentage? Multiply by 100. Okay, now Q. So Q, you can see 4,000 divided by P. So, okay, in P, male is 3,000. I will directly add plus 4, 7,000 plus 3, 10,000, 10,000, uh, 12,500 and plus 3,500 means 16,000. 16,000 and multiplied by 100. Okay, zero and zero is canceled. This is also canceled. Uh, so four, four ja, and 425 times. So 25% any option? Yes, option C is the correct answer, okay? So friends, this five problems I have taken and the very basic problem, not difficult at all, I'm telling you, okay? This is to understand that. Now, if you understand data interpretation and if you want me to do more problem, on data interpretation. So these are the difficult problem. Even you can try this problem at home. So these are the difficult problem. So I will make another video. If you like the video, whatever I have done. So if you really like, okay, then hit a like and comment below. Then I will be making more videos for you. Okay. And I will be also uploading today verbal ability video, the English videos so that it will be helpful for you. Okay. So friends, uh, if you really want me to do, then please, leave a comment definitely i will do for you guys okay so if i get 100 comments so definitely data interpretation next part that is difficult with the difficult i mean the average level of the problem i will bring it and then i will do it so from here you understand and if you really like okay and friends please do subscribe so if you have not subscribed to our channel because all these contents are completely free for you so you do not have to pay anything uh, you know, uh, for all these things. Okay. So I hope uh, these are useful for you and we will again meet in the next session of data interpretation till then take care.